Hey, what's up guys? Man, nice looking day out, but it's cold. Anyhow, so I'm gonna be changing the lights on the roof of Candy here. And you can see, the problem is the roof on this thing, it, it's, it curves really hard. And so the, the lights that I got and the lights that were on it have to set back a ways. And I just don't know I just don't know if that's uh, cool or not, to be honest with you. I'm looking at the uh, at the mount for the visor, and I don't think I can do anything different with that. I don't know, I just don't know if I like that. You know, Trisha's are way out there in the front where they ought to be. There's actually a pad for them to mount on that lifts them up off of the cab, which makes them uh, less prone to leaking. I really don't know. I don't know what to do. What can you see? Can you see it okay in there? You see what I mean? It's back quite a ways. If I move it forward anymore, it gets off of the roof, and then I think that leaves a, a space for water to go. But anyways, I'm going to I'm going to put them on. I just think they look really dumb way back there. But when I look over there at uh at Dolores, hers are back that far too. So I guess that's just the way to go on the Freightliner roof. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on and uh see what happens. All right, let's get started, huh? All right, guys, so uh, <clears throat> Jessica's coming out, and uh, we're going to knock these lights out. Socks, I gotta put another hole in the roof. We're gonna put them right there. Okay, get up in there. Your tool, huh? Yeah, your tool's up there. Yeah. Huh? Yep, climb up with both feet, both hands. Mm-hmm. Okay, you might as well kneel on the seat. We're going to do those middle ones first. The what? The middle ones. There's three. One of them's underneath that uh, foam, so I have to pull that foam down in the middle. Don't get it in your eyes. The middle one. That one, yeah. Just pull down the beginning of that foam. You don't have to get it all, just the front part. Like the one above your head. Just like that. Okay. Come on, peel it off. Rip it. Rip on it. You got some more. Rip on it. Rip it off. You got to expose the wires and both bolts. There you go. Perfect. All right.
Hi. Okay, we'll do the back bolt. Take it out. There's no nut on there? Hold on. There's no nut on there? Okay. Go. And that back when the nut is stuck. I can't hear you, baby. Okay, that's good, right? Okay, run it off. Force it. I wish I could hear you. Why? Try it. Push push up while you're doing it. Okay, go to the next one. Oh, you got it? Go ahead. Go ahead. I think you went the wrong way. Is it off? Okay, standing by, hold on. I gotta get the cover off before I can get down to the nitty gritty. Front one. Wait, which one are you doing? Do it. Okay, back one. Trying. Try it. Did you get it? Try it. Oh. Okay, do the next, do the one that was in between these two. Yeah. Good. Got it? I gotta do the one over the driver's seat. Hold on. Gotta get the cover off. Can't detail a car with the cover on. Front one, go. Back one. What? Yep. Got it? Yes or no? All right, good stuff. All right, I'm going to be a while now because I got to scrape all the shit off so you can go back inside for a little bit. This is really a hard to do on a ladder.
Let me help you out. Okay. Ew. <laughs> we, we totally missed. Yeah. Damn. All right, so we're gonna pull, we're gonna get these off. We'll get all this goop off of here. It's hard to do from a ladder because can't get close enough to the front. The way this front end slopes back. Talked to the guy who used to own this the other day. I was like, man, how long did you guys chase that roof like? And he's like, oh my God. I said, would you believe me if I told you it was the air horns the whole time? He's like, oh my God, how? And so I said, well, the inside of the air horn was blowed out. And so every bit of water that went in the front of the horn sat in that back part and running around the fitting. It was like oh, crazy. They really gooped this all up trying to trying to stop a leak that wasn't there. But, I mean, I get it. It's a pain in the ass. And nobody wants to keep taking the headliner down, you know. And if I was trying to operate this truck, there's no way I would have been taking this headliner down every time it rained, trying to figure out where it was. I'll have to get up here with a with a razor blade. Well, <clears throat> so this is a long and tedious part, you know, taking all of the old gasket off and all the old silicone and other kind of sealants that they used to try and stop these leaks that weren't even there. So I'm not really sure how much of this you really want to watch. So maybe I'll uh, <clears throat> talk through this first one and uh, just kind of sit past the last few. But, you know, the the shape of the roof on this truck is um, it's not very user friendly when it comes to trying to put a, a uh, new light on there. The modern lights are are curved slightly but this roof curves down a lot in the very front so um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure what lights to get I bought some cheap ones um, you know just to see how much I liked them and uh, you know I guess they'll work for now but um, you know put a comment down down in the comment section let me know what lights you put on and where you got them uh, you know if you've got a freight liner and uh, you got something that works really good let me know will you appreciate you guys Oh, and uh, I just wanted to mention, you know, I sound a little sleepy. Um, that's because I'm in South Korea right now. It's been a really long uh, rotation, lots and lots of hours, uh, very little rest. And so, uh, you know, I'm here, I'm here um, the rest of today, and then I start working my way back to uh, towards home. I'll do uh, Incheon to... Uh, China and then China to Anchorage and grab a little rest and then I'm going to fly from Anchorage to uh, Cincinnati and grab my gear and jump on a Delta flight home and uh, then get back out into the shop the day after so I uh, just wanted to kind of give you an explanation of what was going on with me and uh, how hard it is to actually get these videos uh, edited while I'm out on the road but hopefully you like this one. Appreciate you guys coming by, and uh, I'll let you get back to the rest of the action here.
me. I think I'll clean them all off and then we'll put them all in all at the same time. all them straight and then I'll bring them with some carb cleaner. We'll plug this second hole. We'll use some more of that tape. Uh, we might use some ultra black. I don't know. Tape sticks pretty good. So we'll see. Lost my uh, Lost my rag. All right. Well, I think I'm okay with that. And I think I'm going to uh, get one of the rubbers and make the holes the second hole on all of them. And then, uh, then I'm going to glue it down, set the light on it, put the bolts in, and then I'll get Jessica out here and we'll very carefully tighten them up. All right, I'll be back. It's right between two rivets. And that one's right on a rivet, of course. So, my only other choice is to move it forward or backwards. Let's see what this one looks like forward. This wire will have to go back a little ways. Yeah, put the wire through right there. Okay, so that looks like that'll work. And then
McIntyre's, I didn't even think those guys were still in business. Be careful. Don't lose these. Here, we don't have extras. Yep. We're gonna do the, first we're gonna tighten down the one I already have in there. The middle one, okay? Okay, which one on the front? You got it? Okay, let's do the back one. Do the front one some more. Okay. I gotta goop up the next one. I'll put a little right there, a little right here, a little right here, a little right, oops. Okay. These two bolts are for this. You get it? Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?
Okay, you tighten it up. I'll tell you when. Did you say let you out? I think there's enough meat up there, but maybe, maybe enough meat. Had I, uh, had I thought about doing this um, first, I would have left some more meat up there, but it's okay. <clears throat> if I can get a, a thread started on there, it's really all I need. That'll work. Um, probably should have brought some sort of tightening device with me. Oop. Probably shouldn't have my phone and a wrench in my back pocket. Seems like a good way to, to uh, have a little bit of a problem. in that bolt it could be yep I think I am oh man dang it not enough meat on that bone well I do with those glasses So, I got a couple of these to work. I, uh, this being hindsight, you know, hindsight, I should have, I should have planned for this, but I just didn't even think about it. I was cutting those things off, and, uh, well, you can tell. These are, uh, I think too strong. Let me see what these are. Yeah, these are perfect. Okay. We need some uh, strippers, so we'll let this heat up. <clears throat> I think they're over there. Oh. 
so right about here is where I'm going to get in the truck and solder those Locked wires this. up, those oh lights boy. to work. And All you'll right, notice we'll that you hear the camera tells me, please charge it in time. And then it just shuts off. So you missed all of the uh, electrical, but the good thing is you see here, the uh, lights are working fine. And uh, on to the next video. Appreciate you guys coming by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you.